Hey guys, what's going on? Michael White here, your favorite self-taught developer. And we've been in the game almost a year now. We've been coding, building, working for eight straight months. And this last month has been one of the most chaotic, yet fulfilling months that I've had in years. Like that transcends coding. And as always, I'll give you guys a first-hand look at everything I worked on. I started off the month building my first full stack application using MongoDB Express and Node.js. Not quite the MERN stack, we didn't get React in there, but it's a min stack, all right? I also completed phase two of my web developer job hunt, which consisted of rebuilding my portfolio and updating all my capstone projects. I uh, created a new resume, one specifically for tech, and tried to translate all my skills over as best I could. And I created a LinkedIn. If you guys are interested in my approach to getting a job in web development as somebody with no experience in the field, do feel free to check out my phase one video. My phase two video will be coming out next week. And that's going to go into all the details behind my resume, my portfolio, my LinkedIn, and my overall approach to the job hunt and my presentation, I guess you'd say. I also created my very first business, Camo to Code. LLC, which is going to serve a critical purpose going forward, guys. And I've created a Discord that already has a phenomenal group of guys and gals in there helping and supporting each other. And if you haven't joined the Discord already, what are you doing? I'll have a link posted down below. Go join it. And while you're down there, click on that subscribe button and let's grow this community here on YouTube too. And with that out the way, let's get into it. All right. Now here we have my first full stack application, the game house. Now with this, you can create, read, update, and delete data from the database, which is held on MongoDB. And we can see everything here. So we sort everything by systems, right? We have different game consoles, and under each console, we can view the games that are for sale for that console. And then if we wanted to, we could delete the console, but we get a little warning here that tells you you have to delete all the games in there first. So we can add consoles, delete consoles, we can add games, delete games, we can also update consoles and games. And we can view all the games here from the games tab, the systems here from the systems tab, and we can create new games here and new systems here. Now, I don't want to mess with this too much because it is on my portfolio and I want, you know, potential employers to mess around and play with it. Yeah, this was a pretty fun application. This actually exposes one of my biggest weaknesses that I, I probably need to start working on. If you guys notice, whenever I make projects, I tend to not put a max width or a max height on anything and everything just scales to infinity. So what I need to do going forward is to put a max height on things and instead of just having it be fluid and scale forever, I need to make sure that it just centers itself. You know what I mean? Like have the page set at a certain width and just center itself. As the page expands, the content stays at a good size and centered. That's something I need to fix. But um, this was a pretty cool project. First full stack application. All in all, not too shabby. Building a full stack project is tough. There's a lot that goes into the back end, man. I got a lot of respect for back end devs still. Like, uh, it's just the whole model view controller thing. It's an easy concept to understand, but it becomes a lot of code very fast. Next, we'll take a look at my portfolio. I've gone ahead and made my own domain. So my portfolio is available to see at michaelwhite.dev. I gave myself one of those cool .dev domains. I think it looks more professional. I personally didn't like the whole um, GitHub page hosting, you know, the whole your GitHub name at github.io. You know, I want to look professional. I want to look like I know what I'm doing. Like I got some skin in the game. And I just think the .dev looks cleaner. Having your own domain just looks cleaner. So here it is, my short introduction. You click on the learn more button. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, I gotta fix that scroll. We scroll down here, we have a nice little about who is Michael. I really need to figure out who is Michael. I feel like I'm always so generic and bland in these things, but it gets better. The more you write about yourself and the more you see what you're supposed to write about yourself, the better it gets. Just start with something and you will keep changing it over time, I promise. But here we have my skills. I changed my portfolio to make everything um, more responsive now. Again, I need to put a max width and a max height on everything and just let it center. That's my code in Kryptonite right now. But we have that. As we come down, our projects slide in and they're all nice, neat little cards where somebody can easily look and see what's inside every project here. And for the projects, I decided to use the game house, which you guys just saw. I put that on there because it's a full stack application just, and mainly just to show I could build a full stack application. I've at least used, you know, Node, Express, MongoDB before. I have some kind of experience with it. And then we have the uh, carpet cleaning website, which you guys have seen in previous videos. And then Camo to Code, which I don't want to spoil too much in this video, but, uh, 
is going to be very important in my whole job hunt going forward. Like Camo to Code is my, it's my sword, right? Like I'm going into this job hunt with a weapon and my weapon is Camo to Code. I can tell you guys this, it serves two purposes. One, it's a passion project. It's something that I really believe in and something that I really want to work on. And I'll go more into that in a different video. But two, it's also job experience, right? So like I said, this is my business now. Now I have experience. Now I have something that makes me stand out on my resume, right? Like I can be whatever position I want at Camo to Code, the founder, the front end web developer. And the more work I put into Camo to Code, the better that reflects on me. So this is my baby. This is my passion project. Also, if you guys didn't notice, as if you didn't notice, it's a celebratory day. So I'm rocking the camo. I am. I am Camo to Code, okay? Camo to Code is me. <laughs> so over the last month, my main focus, honestly, has been finding a job in tech. So most of my working hours have gone towards, you know, the things like working on my portfolio, cleaning up my code, uh, working on my resume, building a LinkedIn. It's all been in the pursuit of a job. I've even spent hours, you know, sending out applications. Now, I built my LinkedIn just because I hear how powerful it is and how easy it is to network and, you know, network your way into a position as opposed to sending out resumes, which you usually never hear anything back. And if there's one big takeaway that I have from all this, it's that Everything you make sucks at first, <laughs> all right? My first resume was trash. I've been doing some research on what makes a resume good, and I slowly apply those updates to my own and you know try to fix it. It's the same with my LinkedIn. The first time I made my LinkedIn profile, it was trash. Then A Big shared a video with me in our Discord, and it just completely warped how I saw LinkedIn and how I'm gonna use LinkedIn going forward. I can look back on this last month and say I accomplished a ton. Well, I think that's going to do it for this video. If you guys haven't already, do hit that subscribe button down there. And if you guys want to join the Discord community, it's a really awesome place. I highly recommend doing that. Again, that Discord link's down below as well. LinkedIn's down there too if you guys want to link up on there. I'm recording the phase two of my developer job hunt video immediately after recording this one, so it will be out next week. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Peace. Bye. Bye.